Are you still using ChatGPT? That's not surprising because one study showed that it's the most used and most popular AI tool with almost 15 billion visits last year. But is ChatGPT still the best free AI chatbot out there? Or is there something else that's more powerful, more helpful, and more accurate? Well, that's why I'm doing this video, because the answer is yes, there is something that's way better than ChatGPT, at least the free version. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. All right, so first of all, there's a lot of limitations with the ChatGPT free plan. For example, if you tell it to generate images, it can't do that. It's going to say, I'm sorry, I can't generate any images. You need to pay for ChatGPT in order to generate images using Dolly 3. Also, its knowledge is only up to 2022. So for example, if I ask it, what's the price of Bitcoin on January 31st of 2024? It's going to say, I'm sorry, I don't have real-time data as my knowledge was last updated in January of 2022. All right, another thing, let's say you're writing an essay and you need to cite references and add links. So I asked it, tell me about intermittent fasting, cite and link references in the text. It can give me paragraphs about intermittent fasting and then cite references for me. But again, this is before 2022. And then I ask it, well, can you add links to the text? Like, let's say I need to write a blog and I want to add external links within the text. It's going to say, I'm sorry, I currently don't have the ability to add direct links to text. And finally, I'm asking it to visit a website and give me a summary of what that website is. So I'm saying, give me a summary of this site, stability.ai. But again, it says, I'm sorry, I can't access or browse external websites, including Stability AI. Plus, it only has training data up to January 2022. So as we can see, it cannot browse the web. You can't just give it a link for it to summarize or give you more information about. So these are the main limitations of the ChatGPT free plan. You can't generate images. You can't browse websites. Its knowledge is only up to 2022. You can't add links in your text, so you can't really write a full blog or article. Plus, you might have heard of this GPT store, which basically is a list of custom GPTs that other users have created. Well, you also cannot use these plugins with the free version of ChatGPT. This is only for the paid version, which costs $20 per month. And one final thing is the free version of ChatGPT still uses the GPT 3.5 model, which is a lot dumber. Whereas the plus version uses the most current GPT model, which is GPT 4. And as you see from this really recent paper, which talks about how to evaluate different LLMs or large language models like GPT, you can see that GPT-4 in the red here outperforms pretty much all the other ones out there, including Cloud2, Llama2, and of course, GPT-3.5. So, all right, there's a lot of limitations with the ChatGPT free plan, and you need to pay 20 bucks per month to upgrade to the plus plan. But the tool that I'm going to show you has all these capabilities, plus you can use it for free and unlimited times. And the tool is Microsoft Copilot. So this is exactly like ChatGPT. You can chat with it down here. You can ask it any question. It's free to use. You can use it unlimited times. And this is actually previously called Bing Chat, but Microsoft just renamed it to Copilot and they're trying to get rid of this Bing branding. So let's test this out. Let's test out all the things that ChatGPT could not do with the free plan. So I'm going to paste in the exact same prompt, generate an image of a dog to Copilot, and let's see if it can do that. And also you can choose a conversation style down here from more creative to more balanced to more precise. I'm gonna go with more precise, but feel free to play around with these and see which one works for you. And the cool thing about this is also, it allows autocomplete for you. So let's say I didn't just copy and paste this. For example, if I were to write this from scratch, you can see I don't need to type out the entire word generate. I can just type out GE and then tap. It kind of guessed that I wanted to generate an image. So great, I don't even need to type this out. I just type tap and then now it knows I want to type of us. So again, I don't need to type this out. I just need to type tap and then instead of cat, I want an image of a dog. So it allows you to type a lot faster. Let's click submit and you can see, yes, it can do that. And Copilot, first of all, it uses GPT-4 Turbo, which is, again, the most advanced version of GPT right now. It's a lot smarter than GPT-3.5. Also, it uses Dolly 3 to generate images. And for ChatGPT to do that, you need to pay $20 a month to use Dolly 3. Whereas for Copilot, it's completely free. All right, so you can see it's finished generating the image and it's really good. Here are indeed four images of a dog. Now, of course, this is just a very generic prompt. 
I could give it more details in order to refine the image further, but this is just to show you that you can generate images using Dolly 3 for free straight from Copilot Chat. And you can see down here it says powered by Dolly 3. Thanks to the sponsor of this video, Upix. If you're feeling overwhelmed with mid-journey or stable diffusion, you don't want to worry about prompting or learning all these different settings, well, Upix has made it dead easy for you to generate high-quality, realistic images of yourself or anyone else in just one click. It works on desktop as well as on your phone. You don't need to install any apps or anything, it just works straight from your internet browser. Simply select a template, and then upload your photo, and then click Create. It's as easy as that. And look how realistic the results are. There's many templates for you to choose from and more to come, so check it out at upix.app. Alright, next up, let's copy and paste this. What's the price of Bitcoin on January 31st of 2024? Remember, ChatGPT could not answer this because its knowledge was only up to 2022. But let's see if Copilot can answer this. And there you go. It told you the exact price on this date, plus it gave you a citation. So you can see it's actually scraping the web. It's scraping Yahoo Finance to get the price for you. And it even added a nice image of Bitcoin for you by searching through Getty Images. All right, so impressive so far. Let's try this one. Tell me about intermittent fasting, cite and link references in the text. We already see that it can cite and link references, but just to show you a valid comparison, I'm going to paste in the same prompt and you can see what it does. All right, perfect. So you can see it's not only just giving you text, but it's adding in these citation numbers because it's searching the web for information and articles about intermittent fasting and then referencing these articles throughout the text. All right, so let's try this same prompt in Copilot and see if it can give me a summary of this site. Very good. You can see that it's actually going to the site and then giving me information about what the site is about and then citing the links throughout the text. All right, so we've shown that this can generate images. This has information up to 2024. This can browse the web and give you citations within the text all of which you can't do with the ChatGPT free plan, but there's more. Remember ChatGPT has a GPT store where users create custom GPTs which have various functions and you can use them like plugins. Well, Copilot can't use those GPTs, but they have their own plugins, which if you go to the rights column here and click plugins, you should be able to see and turn on whatever you need. So for example, you can see, you can also turn this on. Oh, it looks like I need to start a new topic, so I'm gonna create a new topic. You can turn on Instacart, which basically helps you buy groceries. You can turn on Kayak to book flights and hotels for you. You can turn on Klarna, which helps you compare prices of online shops. And there's a lot of different ones here, but this one is what I really like to play with, which is Suno. You can basically get it to generate a song with lyrics for you. So let's try this out right now. I'm going to write, make me a rap song about AI. Let's see if it can do that. You can see it's using Suno here to create the song for me. All right, so it already gave me the lyrics. Right now it's actually generating the full song for me. So here are the lyrics. Let's play this. Artificial intelligence making moves so swift From self-driving cars to robots, they're the real gift They analyze data, they learn and adapt Innovating every moment, there's no turning back Making life easier, connecting the soul But sometimes I wonder, will they be our downfall? Welcome to the digital revolution AI's the new solution Silicon Valley to the streets of Tokyo The future's here, let's embrace the show Oh my god, that is so impressive. I remember just generating music six months ago with AI and it was nowhere near the level that you're hearing right now. This is just so mind-blowing and impressive to me. In fact, we did a review on some AI tools which allow you to make songs with lyrics, including Suno. So if you're interested in that, check this video out. And the neat thing about Microsoft Copilot is that you don't have to use your computer to use it. You can download it for iOS as well as Android. 
Plus, even though Microsoft Copilot does not have these thousands of custom GPTs, which are present in the GPT store right now, it's very likely that they will have their own custom Copilot store in the near future. So it's basically a copy of OpenAI's GPT store. Now, finally, to be fair, I want to also tell you about a few limitations that I have experienced with Copilot. First of all, each thread that you start only has a limit of 30 messages. So you can see I've used one message here, so it's saying one out of 30. Basically, for each topic, you can only message it 30 times. A second thing I've noticed is that it's a tad bit slower than ChatGPT. The response time could be a few seconds slower. But honestly, that's the only downside that I've experienced with this. It's completely free to use. It uses GPT-4 Turbo and you can surf the web. So if you're still using the ChatGPT free plan, you're at a disadvantage. I would definitely switch to Copilot. It's a lot more powerful. Final thing I would say is it seems kind of strange that Microsoft is doing this. So they're building Copilot. It's basically a direct competitor of ChatGPT, which of course brings in a decent amount of revenue for OpenAI. But at the same time, Microsoft is the largest investor in OpenAI. So why would they build a direct competitor to something that they are investing in? That's where I'm kind of scratching my head. But anyways, let me know in the comments what you think of that rap song it just generated. What do you think of Copilot and will you use it or have you already started using it? And finally, if you found this video helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and get our videos shown by the algorithm more. Also, we built a site where you can search for all the AI tools out there. Check it out at ai-search.io.